Hey guys, I just want to talk with you a little bit today about a concept that kind of piggybacks onto an article that I wrote yesterday about the things in your life that don't want you. Of course, many of us deal with this dynamic in a lot of various endeavors that we 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 seek out in life. Not only with personal relationships, with jobs, with family members, with all sorts of different situations and various things that we cross paths with, we encounter. And a lot of times we, we have a way of wanting things, of course, but the, the gist of the article yesterday was that a lot of, a lot of things in life just aren't going to want you back. And you need to have the ability to quickly recognize and move on from those things. And that's kind of the point of what I wanted to express today to, to build on that concept and explore another little avenue of that discussion. And that's just the fact that I feel like a lot of times it is difficult for us to really understand or know when something else does not want us back in the same way that we want it. I think we're really good as people at rationalizing or, or trying to make up a narrative or a story in our heads that isn't really true. And this this really rings true and when, like we said, you're, you're dealing with let's say people, for example, and let's, let's just use the example of a, a friend or friendship in your life you're trying to maintain. You know, you, you might make several repeated attempts over and over again to see this friend or talk to them or engage with them, whatever it is. And, you know, they'll, they'll always say something like how busy they are or they, you know, have got this going on in their lives and they'll be happy to get back with you at a later point. You, you know, in your mind, you might be, you know, you're you're rationalizing that and you're you're thinking you know okay yeah that's that's the reason why they don't want to spend some time with me or they don't want to maintain this friendship or whatever but the reality is after a long enough point of time you know if somebody wants to make well let's say if somebody wants to see you they're going to see you and the, and the the time thing is most of the time bs or whatever the the excuse under the sun that somebody gives you about you know why they're let's say avoiding you or or whatever whatever way you want to look at that some point you've you've got to understand in your mind that this this reality of what I'm talking about and that is the very cold hard truth and the, the kind of blatant blunt black and white message that I was trying to get across there is that they, they just they don't want you they don't want you around for some reason they don't want to deal with you they don't you know, like I said they don't want to be your friend they don't want to hire you at their job place they don't want to engage themselves involve themselves with you like whatever it is like they they don't want you that's the cold hard truth and just the the thing that i wanted to wrap this all up and and pass on to you and, and hopefully you'll you'll remember this analogy next time you're facing one of those situations in your life where you're really not sure of oh is this a case of you know does, does somebody just not want me or is there something else going on here um, I, I just want you to think of two magnets right you know, the magnet has, has a north and a south pole. In the, the opposite ends, of course, like when you pass those poles just proximate to one another, they have this natural way of, of drawing themselves together. And they, they click together, they snap together. And uh, it's, it's effortless. You really, all you got to do is put the, the magnets in, in close proximity to, to one another. And they, they unite. They come together, right? Natural thing. Well, the opposite holds true. Of course, if you were to try, try to hold two opposite ends of uh, magnetic poles towards one another, I mean, just think about the way those things behave, right? You try to move that end towards the other one, and, and the thing just like completely like skirts around it and just completely moves the opposite direction and the other the other way. And you have to like force the the two magnets to to get them to actually touch, right? That that's a very good thing to keep in your back of your mind and a very good example to think of when you're when you're trying to like we said like sort through these issues in life and you know, just think about the way that magnets act in life and that's the exact same way that that people in, in situations and, and, and all these willings and dealings you're going to go through do act as well quite literally so just just think about that like i said next time you're in one of those hard situations and you're you know, just just think about magnets and the way they act, and think about your situation, and try to equate what's going on in your situation to the way that that magnets behave. You know, like we said, you know, back to the friend example, if you've made re repeated attempts to try to see this person or hang out with them or or whatever it is, and like every time you try to make a, a step or a move towards them or move your magnet towards them, like they just they magically have just this you know this way to skirt you or way to way to avoid you or 
whatever it is. I mean, if that's the reality of your situation, that's that's probably what's going on. And you just need to get good at realizing and recognizing these things like earlier on in your life because the last thing you want to do is spend your time with anybody or anything that doesn't want you around. And that was the message from the post the other day. But it's just, it's just something that I think will help you to lead a more efficient life it'll navigate you towards the things that really do want you around and those things that that are like the magnets that draw you in and want to stick together with you and want to be close and united with you and it's just that's a hard part of life to to learn and it's such a simple thing but many of us spend many 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 years trying to continue to involve ourselves in our lives that, that just don't want us back and there's no reason that you need to do that as I said before, the world is infinitely abundant. There's a billion and one other things out there in this world that are going to want you in in uh, in that magnetic sort of way, and you need to you need to gravitate towards those and seek those out, find those, and enjoy those things in life. Because the others, they're just going to stress you out. They're going to waste your time. They're going to cause you heartache. Whatever you want to say, that's that's the reality of things. So, hope that makes sense. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Talk to you soon.